everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most beautiful, high-end, small, Class A diesel pushers on the entire market. It's beautiful on the outside, but even more beautiful on the inside. This is the 2023 Holiday Rambler Nautica model 35 MS with four slide outs. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Nautica and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited that we are taking a look at this beautiful small Class A diesel with four slide outs. Absolutely amazing. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. You know I love Holiday Rambler. I know you love Nautica. I do. I'm so excited to see this. Andrea, we're excited to show everybody. Without further ado, let's begin! Model is Holiday Rambler Nautica 35 MS. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet 4 inches. This is the Holiday Rambler Nautica. It is uh, more of an entry level style diesel, but it's really not entry level. It's not like a Pace Arrow. It, Pace Arrow is very entry level for Fleetwood. This is more of that next step up. This is going to be very comparable to the Fleetwood Frontier. Okay. Sits on a uh, custom Freightliner chassis XCR, so it's raised rail. For an example, a Pacero straight rail. It has the Cummins 340 horsepower Cummins engine, 700 pound-feet of torque, an Onan 6000 generator, and badass and awesome, with a hitch weight of 10,000 pounds, but we'll see if it can tow 10,000 pounds. Right up front here, Andre, we got a nice big windshield, has the Delta Foundation, very nice, Right up there, Mobileye collision mitigation. You got the LED lights. Here's where your generator is. And I love that little flare of uh, chrome accent that they got going on here. Nice side marker lights and everything. Such a beautiful, beautiful motorhome. Right here, we do have black bus style mirrors on both sides. And the cameras are integrated in the sides of both the mirrors. We need do have a door awning. As you can see, frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. Beautiful paint job, slide toppers and everything. Andrea, right here, Delta Foundation Freightliner XCR. Delta's the foundation that Freightline or uh, that Holiday Rambler uses to help with the chassis. XCR, it's gonna be raised rail. Very, very nice. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're Michelin's, I love those. 275-80R. 22.5 very nice right over here we do have fuel fill up on both sides very nice over here we got a little bit of storage yes ma'am over here we have even more storage and look at these doors is that not fantastic it is and then you don't have the more ride slide out trays but with this amount of storage andrea you can definitely add any of these slide out trays that you wish to have. Not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. More storage here with a surge guard. Wow, it does have two awnings. Yes, ma'am. And look at this nice TV. Oh my goodness. And guess what, Andrea? That's staying up. Wow. You know Who's why? Gonna reach it. I ain't, I ain't reaching that. <gasps> Hang you got to be really tall to get that. Dude, you ready for this? Yeah. I mean, look at this. That's crazy. They need to have like a thing to pull oh, it down. Oh, <laughs> like Mike. Wow. I didn't think I could jump that high. Very nice. Nice electronical components. There's your hydraulic reservoir for uh, your auto leveling. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Again, 10,000 pound hitch. Doesn't mean you can tow 10,000 pounds with this motorhome. Make sure you guys always take your GCWR and subtract it from your GVWR. That's how much always know before you tow. You do have a backup camera there. There is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. We, we don't climb up these roofs anymore. And then um, right there, 
there is an air brake assist if you do want to have the Air Force One brakes or a nice stacker trailer. And Andrea, just the rear paint job design looks fan freaking fantastic. Coming around to the driver's side, you got some batteries there. Oh man, look at this. DEF, wow. more batteries, and look how important that is. That is very important. 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. That's just what we're looking for, you know? Ooh, very pretty. Nice wet bay. Yes, ma'am. That's what I like to see. They got the water purifier here. You got your little outdoor uh, shower thing, whatever, so you can rinse off. And then that's potable. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. Andre, if you move on down. Other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There's that ladder for the roof. Yep. And. Okay. Right there's your hydronic heating system. Andrea, it's a four, it's a 250D hydronic heating system. And then Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specifications about that motorhome, this motorhome right there. And then if you go over there, Andrea, you will see that we have another door that just has your blinker fluid. Huh. <laughs> well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Right. Cargo carrying capacity, 5,995 pounds. That is crazy. All right, so when I walk in, it is opposing slides. So it's a little walkway, but I mean, it's doable. You can definitely get through. It opens up more here. And then we've got the refrigerator here. Let's see if we can open it. Yep, we can definitely open it. And we've got the half bath. Or no, sorry, that's a full bath. And as you can see, the master, you we have a tilted bed And it looks like there's probably just a sink there. I'm not sure because I can't get through. But very pretty interior, definitely. Andrea, wait till the slide outs are open because it's going to look even bigger, brighter, and nicer. But first, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Guys, this episode is sponsored by RVMattress.com. Now, you guys hear me talk about them all the time. They reached out to me because they have a Memorial Day going sale going on for the next seven days from today until May 31st. So click my link down below to rvmattress.com slash Matt. Type in your email, get a dynamic code or phone number, get a dynamic code, and you're getting 32% off. If you don't know who rvmattress.com is, I have a video explaining who they are. But guys, that is the absolute best deal of the year for Memorial Day. Click our link down below. Thank you to RVMattress.com, the best RV mattress in the RV industry. Let's continue this video. Andrea. So pretty. Was I right or was I right? Wow. This is a beautiful motorhome. Mindy. Oh my gosh. You've done it again. Excellent. Before we show everybody the interior, Andrea, we gotta start with the good stuff. And that's America right here. Red, white, and blue. We got our cup holders right here. Nice screens all the way around. They're all facing me like a digital dash. I feel like a commander. You got your mobile eye collision mitigation, digital screen, which is huge. Not only that, we got a telescope and steering wheel. And Andrea, this is air ride suspension, air brakes, and air horn. America, hell yeah. Get that's, out of our way. That's what the diesel pusher's <laughs> all about. If somebody cuts you off, you just put on the red white and blue on them you know what i'm saying oh my gosh we got your air conditioning right here auxiliary control blinds and everything and this is my point of view sitting right here really really nice but even nicer in the co-captain seat oh my gosh so comfortable has a footrest down here yes ma'am there is a slide cover you guys it goes across here so you know you're not falling in i have a cup holder i am missing a workstation womp, womp. MCD shades, daytime. Pull that all the way down. Daytime, daytime shades. And privacy. Look at this love bug. Ew, ew. Get out of here. This show's for children. <laughs> and <laughs> if you guys don't know about love bugs, all they do is reproduce. It's that's that's all their purpose is and to eat our car paint. So <laughs> and then we got I like this. I like the door shade. You, hey. you don't see that a lot. Thanks, University of Central Florida. Yes, exactly. We know what you did. 
hey, we got, you know, components here and stuff, electrical outlets. Yes, ma'am. We got a TV here. Speakers and TV. And then, Matt, if you'll grab that little cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Right there. Okay. And then we do have a bunk over the cab, which we need to find the switch. Cool. Here is the switch. 500 pounds. And we don't have the key. There is a ladder that goes right there. I got a key right here. All right. We're gonna show everybody. Bada bing, bada frickin' boom, Andrea. Yes. Pidal off, tremendous weight capacity of 500 pounds. That is their words, not mine. Okay, so you do have a TV right there. Yes, ma'am. And then just like that, it's a really good size. It does come with a ladder and everything. And then you put it all the way up and it's out of the way. Easy to store. I'm really liking the LED lights above the slides. Yeah, show everybody Super the cute. cabinets here. Okay, so above here, and I do love this color, of course, uh, we've got the storage above. Very nice storage, really cute handles. Yes, ma'am. Let's then, see. Right, and then something that I wanna call out, it's not just about being like a white interior, it's about this like inline as well. Babe, it's not white. We've had this. <laughs> it's not it's white. It's about being like an off shade of white, but it's also the inline and it just makes it look good. I mean, I mean, check out these balances, guys. It's kind of like a gray, the cabinet. These balances. Approved, bing. Mindy, you've done it again. Now, another thing that we have We've already showed you the daytime shades, but look at these privacy like shades those. in the living room area. Again, just adding to that light, bright color scheme with this gray. Looks absolutely fantastic. What else is fantastic? These theater seats. They're electric. The inverter needs to be on for them to work. But you got your cup holders here, remote holders here. And then as you can see- There's a cubby there. Yes, ma'am. With an electrical outlet and USBs. And then as you can see, there is uh, seat belts. Seat belts right here. So you can actually be sitting in these seats chilling while driving down the road. And then oh, the TV is actually right over Diagonal. here. Diagonal. Diag di Diagonally. <laughs> oh, pretty frosted cabinetry. Storage above. A little one up there with a shelf. Nice speaker. Andrea. Yes. Do you know what movie Diagonal Elite's from? I do not. Question of the day. I'll give everybody a clue. You ready? Diagonal Lily. Oh, <laughs> you figured it out? I did. Yep. <laughs> nice tea. Tell everybody, tell, tell everybody. Harry Potter. <laughs> yep. He was trying to say Diagon Alley, but he said Diagonal Lily. And then got sent to the Dementors or something like that. Nice big screen TV, fireplace right Adjustable there, Andrea. Shelf in there. Yes. Good. Was it my? Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you gave it away. No, I mean, I feel like I'm good at charades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right there. You are a one man show. <laughs> Not. Hey, it's simple work, but it's honest work. Okay. More storage above. Nice window here. Yes. Right over here, Andrea. Nautica hitting the road. Um, scan the QR code if you guys want to learn more. This shows all the specs that we talked about. Seat belts on both sides of the dinette. Storage only on one side of the dinette, okay? And now, this is a really good dinette if you have to make it into a bed because I feel like it's the most comfortable and it's the easiest to do. Correct. It's a very nice dinette and I feel like I'm sitting on a sofa. And then to drop it down, Go like this. And then you don't have to play Tetris with the cushions. Right. Like if I had to sleep on a dinette, this is the one I would want. Yes, ma'am, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. And then to set it back up. Look at it's that. Very easy. No putting the cushions back on the Velcro. No, you're not having cushions pop out on you while you're laying down. It's my favorite dinette in the whole industry. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this, America? Listen. Listen here. 
with the economy the way it is diesels have been struggling because they're expensive which means we have phenomenal pricing so if you're in the market for a diesel pusher and you don't call me or my team shame because you're spending too shame on shame on your money because you're spending too much of it if you're not calling our team msrp four hundred seven thousand two hundred eighty four dollars andrea msrp we have this at a one hundred and twenty seven thousand dollar discount whoa that's 31 percent off to a sale price of only two seventy nine 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 five that is a phenomenal price and andrea if somebody's interested in buying this diesel pusher or any diesel pusher and quite possibly maybe getting even a little better but little bit of a better price than that all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash mats cash guys i've made it super easy i linked that website down in the youtube description below i've linked it on our website matsrvreviews.com or if all help loses you can call 844-969-4033 Reach out to us any way you can because our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Diagonally. Andrea, show us this kitchen. All right, look over here. Really pretty cabinetry. I love that. It has a nice adjustable shelf right there. Pretty Expecto <laughs> Patronum! <laughs> we have a really nice Hang on, I'm so sorry. Can you re-show us this? I'm sorry. I'm in Adjustable my Harry. Shelf. I'm in my Harry Potter face. All right. So we have a really pretty panoramic window. I love this window. It has really cute backsplash all the way around. Mm. Solid surface countertop. Very pretty. Yeah. Look at the LED lights underneath. Oh, sorry. That's for show. Yes. Jeez. And it's supposed to do that. Yeah. But you gotta. There yep. Go. There you go. And then we've got a drawer there, and then another drawer here. Yeah. Good size. I mean, I like these. And then we've got a farmhouse sink. Very cute with an extension here. And looks like we got some storage underneath the sink. Oh! Hey! That's $156 trash can. It sure is. I'm glad they gave you a trash can. All right, over here, what's this? The Insignia Convection Microwave. Yes, ma'am. Two burner induction cooktop. And then here we've got mm. two big drawers. And then under here we got, yes. oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Storage right. machine. Okay. Andrea, but wait, there's more. There's, oh, wow. I did not, okay, that's the fuses. Oh. I did not see that. This must be your pantry. Nice, and it's actually relatively deep. Okay. Not bad at all. This, what is this? No, that's a panel, I can tell. Okay. All right, so we got the LG residential refrigerator. Wow. Look at this. Let's get it all. Wow, look at this. Who, who are y'all? Very cute. Wow, that's a freezing I zone. I wish it had a water purifier in it, though. Yeah, it does not, though. Look how cute this is, you guys. I love when they do this with the two tone colors. Okay. With the chair rail. Very cute. Yes, ma'am. And then there's the uh, pad there that controls everything. Yep, this just tells you everything slide outs, awnings, fans, thermostats, everything. Everything that you need right here. It is two AC units in this unit. All right, Miss Andrea. Then over here is a shower. Oh, they put a seat in there. Yeah, not the best shower, wow. not the worst shower. It's like, it's like not a good shower for a diesel pusher, but for a 35 foot motorhome, it's okay. It gets the job done. Again, one piece fiberglass shower. Andrea mentioned that it does have a seat, and it just is what it is. Like it's really not bad, but when it's I say not, the D word. Yeah diesel yeah. i want a huge shower right like I, this is I a agree. good size shower but i want like a huge shower over here we have no medicine cabinet but we do have liquefied sitting on the shelf go to prime poop in position to pick up a bottle of liquefied today thank you everybody oh my gosh that. look how little that sink is it looks like an airplane sink right yes ma'am and then right there we got a little bit of storage oh also i want to make an announcement we went to our first retail show y'all um if you guys own a campground and you want to stock liquefied go to matt's rv review send me an email matt at matt's rv reviews.com and we are working on a wholesale program and what we're going to do andrea is pretty cool 
not only are you going to make good margins selling liquefied as a campground but um we're also going to promote your campground on our show and you know what else we're going to promote andrea what's that this is a prime poop position bing very nice i mean andrea this is a small bathroom but it gets the job done i'm liking it let's check out that there is a pocket door right here i yes. didn't mention so you're gonna go through that oh. way oh i'm gonna go through this way matt oh there's two entrances into the master bedroom there is a medicine cabinet oh i couldn't get to it with the slide in i didn't even realize it because there's another sink i uh, see that sink is way better right i like the two sinks because now if somebody's pooping they can still wash their hands but somebody can also be getting ready in the day i like that and then look at all this this, this is, is nice. good for like all like makeup and stuff and then over here we got some storage right there okay 35 ms you know what some ms stores. stands for what? makeup station <laughs> I would know. All right, six floors there. Very nice. Got a bigger drawer here. Okay, two of these. Yep, and then these are all the same exact size. And then we got wardrobe. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of wardrobe space here. Andrea, take a step back real quick. Get in that doorway real quick. Guys, this is the bedroom. This is freaking phenomenal. Really good space. Not only that, Stackable. and something else I want to notice, Andre, I can actually take this stuff out. A lot of times they'll give you stackable washer dryers, but you got to do the Macarena just to. I, I've seen that before. I know. I'm excited about that. Yeah. I remember when we did this one a while ago. Andrea. And that was like, this is I like my favorite everybody. I lied. model. That ain't a makeup station, no. bro. This is a makeup station. Yes. It even has your type yes. of light. We have this at our house. <laughs> this is a legit makeup station. It is. Look, see, it has an electrical outlet right there, too. I would probably, yeah, I love these. I remember doing this. We did this a while ago, and this was like my favorite Nautica. Well, it was, this was the first Nautica we've ever reviewed. Okay, so look. Wow. And see how much wardrobe space it has? Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. This is my type of closet. Mm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And, Matt, there's more drawers. Yes, ma'am. See, this is what we need. Well, Andre, there's just one little problem. <laughs> and that is it costs almost as much as our house did. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there's a big drawer there. Oh, okay. It's secret storage. Yep. Right oh, here is I a compartment it. for the engine access. Andre, it's a phenomenal motor. It is. Not only that, we got the tilt-up bed. Power and USB. We got a little bit of Art Deco Very on the wall. Cute. Great job, Mindy, with the Art Deco. Check out the storage all the way above. Oh, sorry, I was looking at Speakers the Speakers right there as well. Right. And they did give you kind of like a little nightstand right here. Yes, ma'am. This is a tilt-a-bed. Yep. And Matt, it's interesting because I remember this, like the TV being there. Yep. So you kind of have like a little privacy, a little separation. Really interesting stuff, Andre. I'm really digging this motorhome, and I'm actually glad it was between this one and the 34RX today. So I'm really glad we picked this one. Can I see this door right here? You can this, see whatever you want. This door is not like a pocket door, but look. There you so go. You even have privacy when you know, right. you're in the bathroom. I, I really, love it. I love this floor plan. It's a great unit, Andrea. It is. Well, Andrea, as great as it is, as as nice as it is, that's it, and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves. It's time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we dislike about it first. Stupefy. <laughs> you said like? Dislike. First? Yes. I'm going to go first. I don't like the tilt of bed. Talk to me. Um, I just don't like it. That's just how I am. I like to just, you know, be able to access the bed when we're driving. Also, um... It was really hard for me to get back here because mm -hmm. of the double slides and everything. Yep. So that's also something, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but it is it what was it is. tight getting back here. That is dislike number one, Andrea. Dislike number two for me is going to be this theater seat style and the placement of the TV. So one, it's theater seats. You guys already know I want to have the combo. Two, look at my feet dangling right here, Andrea. I don't know why, but I feel like this is a really high theater seat. And then three, I'm looking diagonally 
at the TV Entertainment Center. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's just dislike number two. There's nothing else I can say about it. Andrea? Dislike number three for me is going to be that there's no workstation. Yes, yes. This motorhome is checking off all the boxes, but I really need to have a workstation. Andrea, I understand. And that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Andrea, ah, I can't get up. <laughs> Can you cast the spell that helps levitate me over there? Mm, I, I forget. You don't know the spell? It starts with the E. No. It's Wingardia Leviosa. Oh, sorry. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry Andrea. you're not Harry Potter. No, you're Harry Potter. Jen is editing this video right now, and she knew what it was. <laughs> That's because you guys watch Harry Potter over and over. Okay, that was your dislike. Yes. But on the flip side, this is the like. I like the Freightliner chassis. I like the telescoping steering wheel. I like this command center with the digital dash. Everything's very nice. I like how all the cameras are facing me. Mobile eye collision mitigation. I think that's the this tire is, pressure monitoring system. This is mobile eye collision oh, mitigation. Is it? Yes, ma'am. And this is just really, really nice. I like how everything is facing me and it's just great. And I love this part about this motorhome. That's number one. Andrea, like number two. Oh my gosh. I love, love all the storage. Talk to me. In the master bedroom. Talk. Well, all the drawers, all the closet space. I mean, you've got like three wardrobes back here. You've got tons of drawers. You have a, a vanity station over here, and then you have the sink over here. It's just, it's amazing. Everything about it. Yes. MS, makeup station, master storage, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Like number three for me is going to be, I love the interior in here. Talk to it's me. It's so pretty. Andrea, they didn't miss no, from the walls. No, from the walls. To the backsplash. The cabinets, to the frosted look, to the balances, the LED lights. They did such a good job, amazing. And look, the countertop is so pretty too. Andrea, there's this person, you guys hear us talk about her. Andrea, from from the privacy blinds, you know what I'm saying? The backsplash, the everything. The cabinets. There's a lady at Rev Group called Mindy. I'm telling you, nobody can design an RV better than Miss Andrea, I believe. But if there was one person on this planet, <laughs> it would be Mindy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Mindy's like, amazing. Like, she is just phenomenal at her job. The way she designs these RVs, the colors are absolutely beautiful. And you guys see so many times on the show, I like something, Andrea doesn't like it. Andrea likes something, I don't like it. In all of these Rev Group products, that's Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, American Coach. We agree. They literally knock it out of the park, and it's something that almost everybody loves. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this RV or any RV, again, go to gentlerv.com slash Matt's Cash. Links down in the YouTube description below, mattsrvreviews.com or 844-969-4033. Andrea, if you're looking at a diesel pusher and you're not calling our team, you're paying way too much. What say you? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Fleetwood does read the comments. They do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next, next time. time.